Look at that. Once you look at that, I can't believe it. But I'm looking right at it. So I have to. What do you think of that seat, guys? From something that was all rusted out, ready to bolt back on the th three-wheeler when I get her done. I couldn't be more happier with the way this seat turned out. I'm back. I That's 10 to 12, and I did make as much progress as I thought I would. But I thought I would just stop here for a minute and let you see what I did get done. So, as you can see here in a moment, I have this pan welded in and it's it's getting some strength to it again and if I turn it over you can see that I'm working on reinforcing uh, the bottom edge of course you know grind that down clean it up paint it make it look real pretty and make it so it doesn't rust as much I also have to put new studs in where this mounts to the uh, plastic uh, cover that, uh, well, I call it the fenders over the back tires. I also will need to make some edge trim so that the new seat can uh, clamp down on and, and go on there so that it, it actually fits. So far, I guess I'm satisfied with what's happening. I wish it'd go just a little faster. Can't rush it. Metal's very thin and weak. The old metal. I'm struggling to get my uh, welder dot dialed in. And it's just a Hobart Handler 210. It's not much of a welder, but it works good for me. I do have my gas set up on it, so you can see that. And I'm a novice welder, so it uh, it takes me a little bit to get dialed in. I might also put a, a cover over the top and just sandwich all this after I clean it up and paint it. I don't know. I don't know. For crying out loud. Anyway, this is working out perfect. Well, hmm, maybe not. We'll see. But for now, i got to go into the... Briggs do it best hardware and get some bolts and some other things and maybe grab a cup of coffee. I'll catch you again. Okay, I'm back again. It's afternoon. Got interrupted for about an hour or so. Had, well, actually longer than that, but... I'm making progress, but still have a long way to go. Give you an update on pictures. I haven't mounted to the uh, fenders so that I could get the shape right, seeing uh, because uh, this actually this pan is in really bad shape. I found out that they're extremely rare and hard to find and very expensive if you do find them. So I guess this is. My only alternative, other than really paying a lot for, for one, even if you can find it. Very hard to find. So here's a picture of it. As you can see, a lot of rust on that, that old thing. And the front of it, it's shaping up fairly decent. You can see it fits better than I thought it would actually, but we'll see. And hopefully sometime soon I will get the thing mounted back on my three-wheeler. And realize that the 185M is, is rare. Imagine. Think I can do this? 
I think so. Ah, probably not. We'll see. We'll catch you again in a few minutes. Well, it's getting towards the end of the day. I didn't get done with the uh, project today, but there's always another day. Uh, but I do want to show you what I did get done. Here's the welding on that side. You can see it's a lot of patches. But like I said, I didn't have much to start with. And it's either do this or pay $450 for a seat. And again, the back side, got a little work to do here yet. But you can see how this corner turned out, which I guess for what I have, I, I have to be pleased with it. And you can see how this corner still needs some work. So I'm going to um, call it a day. Like I said, I'm going to call it a day. I'm tired. It's after 5 o'clock. And for an old man, that's, that's a long day. But a lot of pounding and a lot of uh, <laughs> grief. Oh, yeah. Um, well, I'll see you in the morning.